Back to come here. Good morning. Good morning. All right, y'all. It is 10:15, and I'm waiting for Jazz. Okay, and I'm just sitting here having a reflection while I'm waiting for her because. I just know in my heart that one day, very soon, I am going to wake up and I am going to be thankful for what I've been through in life and because it's preparing me for where I'm going. And I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna just be like, it was all worth it. Every struggle, every, every heartache, every disappointment, and all my patience, it was all worth it one day and there's the person i'm waiting for y'all she can't walk out the door without something on the little head now it's cold it's 25 degrees this morning here in new jersey and clearly it's too cold for stephanie to work outside so so down a little go home i go home do you feel me I don't know how it is. First of the year, it's gonna be packed. Let's see where everybody at February first. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Done. Came home. Remember, I told y'all my family. They just tune in to me. However, I talked to my baby sister today, and we play catch up and got caught up and talking to her about life. Shout out to Ashley. And since then, I've taken a shower. I have res responded back to Wendy Williams with my guest list and all of that confirmation. And y'all, she asked if you have ever had an encounter with a celebrity that you can include the picture of your celebrity encounter and tell the story well my celebrity encounter was actually with candy burrows from real housewives of atlanta and escape and we had me and d had went to Can candy's candy coated album release party in atlanta and we had went there and actually we walked up to candy after she performed and we asked her could we take a picture and she gladly obliged so yes your girl sent that picture to wendy williams too she needs to know i know some people too oh i met some people okay okay any hoot and did that and came downstairs chit chatted with jasmine she did her get ready with me video and we're contemplating on doing another story time but doing it together yeah y'all gotta stay tuned for that one however i'm also contemplating on doing a story time video myself today so let me finish getting myself together because i have all of these pieces right here that I got to package up, put up, and ship out of things that people have purchased with me in the past day or two. I'm about to catch me a little meal right quick. And if y'all hear that noise in the background, that's Jasmine in the kitchen watching Time the Infamous on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's time for me to hire an assistant, y'all. I ain't gonna even front. If you're in the Jersey area and you are looking to grow with Eclectnista, hit me up in my email. Because really, it is time for a sister to get an assistant. Yep. I need an assistant. I ain't gonna lie. I do. Because y'all know little Jada be in school. Jazz going back to college because she got to get that degree. And... For Maya Davis, you asked me what kind of hair this was, and I'm going to show you. It's this right here. Black Elegance. So, this is what I have in my hair. And as y'all already saw, y'all saw how I personalized it just for me. Yeah, I two strand twisted this stuff. So, let me go eat, and I'll hit y'all back in a few. So, I decided to do like a random question like random questions just in my vlog today just because here we go the first question is what kind of music do you listen to i was so rudely interrupted by jasmine but i was about to tell y'all that 
my husband puts me on blast about me liking Beyonce. He swear that's all I listen to, but he don't know, okay? I listen to her. I listen to a lot of Jill Scott, Erica Badu, uh, Tyrese. Uh, I like old school stuff like um, Genuine, R. Kelly, uh, Drew Hill. I like Boys to Men. I like music like that, that has some substance. No hate to the new artists out here now, but. I like old school music, so. But when I'm at the gym, I need hype music. I, I be swear to God, y'all, be these old men, like, next like, to me, next to me on, on the treadmill, treadmill and they be like, like, what are you listening to? And I'm like, I'm jamming, right? And I let him see what I was listening to. He was like, well, can you help me find that? Sure. Do you have Spotify? Yeah, you gotta introduce the old school to the new technology you got to introduce them to that the next question is who do i miss i miss my grandma oh my gosh i miss miss lissy there is never a time that i don't think about her she i think about her often okay often my grandmother has such a beautiful spirit and she is a tell it like it is type of grandma she don't sugarcoat nothing okay you asked her if it's ugly she gonna be honest and she gonna tell your ass if it's ugly or not okay and i swear i feel like that's a trait that i definitely get from her and clearly y'all see that's where my mama got it from right yeah may rose is a tell it like it is type of person too i got it honest damn it i got it honest next question do you like your handwriting actually i do i'm not someone that says my handwriting is ugly because i don't think it is so i'm gonna let y'all see my handwriting this is my handwriting, and yep, that is my name. Now, I can't show y'all my signature because I don't need nobody on social media trying to duplicate my damn signature. Y'all already know I've been catfished, okay? I'm the new version of Helen. Shut up, Jasmine! I didn't say nothing. I'm not even listening to you. Whatever. I think Jesus ain't got nothing to do with this. He is up in heaven, okay? Sitting on the right hand of the Father. Hmm. Are you in love with anyone? Clearly, y'all already know that answer. His name is Mr. Long, AKA Mr. Yeah, that's, that's my heart. And yes, one of y'all asked me, it was like, Steph, you be packing? I can't even show y'all my weapon. If I show y'all my weapon, I might like, you know, I might literally like put myself like out there and I don't want nobody trying to come for me just to see if I will use it. Cause honey, if I'm put in a situation, best believe I'm gonna use it, okay? Who was the last person you kissed? That would be Mr. Long, the best TV show ever created. Y'all, I loved Spartacus. Oh my God, Spartacus was like my ish. I was so mad when they killed Sp Spartacus. Like, Spartacus just went off. I mean, I know he had to die eventually, but that was my ish, okay? Spartacus, Oz. Yeah, I like the stories about the, the jails and stuff like that. Oz, uh, y'all already know I love uh, Empire Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, and Sex in the City. That's my ish too. But if I had to say who I probably relate to, Carrie, because I liked Carrie's just like no thought process when it comes to getting dressed like she ain't try and me and carrie we definitely relate when it comes to that and then i would have to say my other alter ego on that show would have to be samantha now i know samantha was a hoe but you know what samantha was open about her sexuality she liked to have sex she liked to have fun she liked to live Samantha was my type of girl. Like, I could get along with all them women because they all bought something to the table. That's what y'all need in your friends. Your friends should be able to bring something to you so you can take something from the table and they can take something from you as well. You feel me? The last thing to make you cry. Okay, this morning when I was in the car and I was telling y'all that I just have this feeling of expectancy that when that I'm going to wake up one morning and one morning I'm going to have this 
fulfilled satisfaction come over me that everything I've been through in my life, everything, and I don't think I've had a bad life. However, I have had some challenges, some struggles, some disappointments, things not happening when you want them to happen. And clearly I have accepted the fact that nothing's going to happen when Stephanie wants it to happen. It's always going to happen on God's time. And I accept that. So all in due time and clearly with everything I've been through it has taught me patience and this morning when I was in the car with Jasmine I was just expressing to that to her and I started to get emotional about it because I feel like everything that I've been wanting forever is finally all about to come together and God has prepared me for it just by all the trials, the tribulations, the challenges, disappointments. He prepares you for that. So when it comes, you know how to remain humble and you know how to handle it when it's given to you. What is your favorite cologne and perfume? Currently, my ish is Rihanna, the signature rebel. That is my favorite perfume right now. I also like Euphoria by Calvin Klein. <laughs> Don't ask me what is in that, but I just know this. When I wear that, I swear, the men can be on another aisle in the grocery store and smell me and come by and ask me literally, what am I wearing? Something with that perfume in my body chemistry works, okay? Anything that has like a citrus or vanilla scent in it or coconut base works with Stephanie. You gotta know your signature notes, them scent notes. You gotta know that, okay? Would you rather be smart or funny? Can I be both? Can I just be labeled as a smart ass? Like, be smart, and I'm just gonna be an ass sometimes just to be funny. So, yeah, I think I would want to be both. Yeah, both can take you far in life. And y'all, Mr. Long said I'm a smart ass all the time, okay? All the time. Yeah. My favorite clothing brand, honestly, I don't have one. I don't have a favorite clothing line. I could tell you a clothing line that I'm not particularly impressed with baby fat. I just do not get the hype about why people like baby fat. Even even though I love Beyonce, I don't I don't be feeling Darion either. Yeah. I'm not an urban chick. Never have been, probably never will be. I'm not an urban chick. Therefore, I'ma stick to my vintage and I just buy things and I buy labels and I buy clothes that just I can I know I can make look good. That's what Stephanie do. What is the best way to tell someone how much they mean to you while they living? Don't be waiting to cry and plead your case when they dead and gone. The best time to tell people how you feel about them is why they are living right here in your presence. How many more kids do you want? Y'all heard that right? Zero. I just don't want no more. Do you trust others easily? No. If I've never invited you to my house, I don't consider you as a friend. So I guess y'all friends, because y'all all up in my house on a daily basis, okay? But if I have never physically invited you to come to my house, yeah. If I invite you to my home, clearly I trust you because I'm bringing you into my personal space, okay? What are your nicknames? Steph, Mama Steph. My mom and them used to call me, but you will only hear my mother and like my aunts call me Step, but I hate it. So I will correct people on the spot if you call me Step. I've done it on Facebook. I've done it in person. Don't call me Step because I'm not like a Step, like you step up. Uh-uh. That ain't me. Um, What did you want to be when you were a kid? A lawyer. Can y'all see me doing that? I would have been a fly-ass dressed, well-dressed lawyer. But yeah, Stephanie likes to argue and... If you take me there, trust and believe I'm going to have the last word. That's a promise. Favorite two things to hate. I hate liars and crime. Why do, why, why people got to kill people? Why people got to steal? Why people got to do shit like that to like hurt other people? And kisses or hugs. I do both. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. I am signing out. I am done. I am about to go get ready for bed because tomorrow I have a pretty busy day today. Tomorrow because I got a lot of ripping and running to do, taking back Christmas presents, exchanging shit, and all that good stuff, okay? So, y'all will see me tomorrow, same time, same place. And as y'all can see, I'm going to rock this pompadour. But y'all going to see her transform and change next week for Wendy. Mm -hmm. She going to change. See, I shaped it. And y'all, this is my no makeup makeup. That's what it is. Peace out! Boom! I've been catfished! I got some boots!
Wendy Williams ticket. Really? 